Hello, my name is Debbie Figueroa. I'm a Com Arts teacher here at Hamilton. AP Literature is a sophomore college level course. So be prepared that when you come into an AP Literature course, you are skipping your senior year, you are skipping your freshman year in college, and you're taking that sophomore level. Um, that's why this becomes a challenging course. And when you look at some of the coursework that you have to do in the Barron's books, and when you look at the test, you'll, you'll understand that. Um, the course is designed to look at different genres. You are, it's a fictional course, unlike the AP language that was nonfiction. So you're doing poetry and, and plays and short stories and uh, novels. Um, the intent is to get you to Bloom's evaluative so that you're able to understand author's intent. Um, which again, through a course of scaffold skills and repetition of uh, those concepts and application of those concepts, you get pretty good at by the end of the first semester. So the first semester is a little bit more tough than um, the second semester. In that second semester, you're honing those skills. The final test in May is an multiple choice test and an essay test. So despite that you're looking at fictional work that's quite creative, you actually are writing linear essays that are analytical. So because it's a literature and composition, most of the composition is going to be in the field of uh, writing essays and writing an essay in 40 minutes because you have two hours to write three of them so you about have about 40 minutes to complete one. That means taking a look at a poem, analyzing it, and writing within those 40 minutes or a piece of prose analyzing and writing about it. Or the third prompt, which is um, a play or a novel, so a work of length, analyzing um, and then writing about it. That's actually a little bit easier because you don't have to read anything for that prompt. In the class, you're going to be doing anything from class discussions to essays to multiple choice type tests. Um, Uh, when you get into college, you'll be doing homework outside of class, and you'll be doing homework, I hate to say it, on weekends. So that is the, uh, the norm in this class. Um, because you're going to be teaching again or, or learning literary works, writing works, vocabulary, and so on, those multi-layered pieces um, are going throughout the course, so um, some of it's self-paced, some of it you'll learn um, have hard deadlines, soft deadlines, you have to chunk some of the, the longer works um, to be able to complete them on time, so you're going to be doing homework. Um, I would suggest a focus course so that you can um, have some time within school. Uh, there are students who, if you're taking an AP cal uh, calculus class and an AP lit class, um, there's students who have said that you benefit from doing uh, less work outside of class, meaning work that you get paid for, a job that you might have, um, and putting that off for possibly the weekends. Um, students who are in extracurriculars find that they need to be able to kind of taper off some of their extracurriculars so that they can concentrate on the course. So do um, be prepared for some of those, especially around finals times. Um, again, the kids who are working a lot of times will um, choose a different time to or tell their their bosses about finals so that they are able to concentrate on their work and then they're less stressed. The cool thing about AP Lit and the reason why kids take it um, is really not the first reason they step into the classroom. They come into the class thinking that they're going to learn about literature. They step out of the class realizing they're going to learn about life because literature is life, right? Um, I have students who will be science and math oriented students who will take a literature course and um, I ask them about it and they say, we've heard that you analyze in here and analysis happens in science and math as well, so we'd like to try it. So it's kind of a neat course. Um, it's a community-based course. The kids get to learn what their expertise is as well as what my expertise is and together, collectively, we work through the curriculum um, so I welcome you to try it out. Come talk to me in room 49 if you have any questions.